This is a video on two simple hypothesis testing comparing two proportions. Test the claim that the proportion of men who owns cats is smaller than the proportion of women who owns cats at the 0 0.05 significance level. <laughs> so I'll let men be my group one and I'll let women be group two. All right, so they gave us some sample data based on a sample of 20 men 25% own cats based on a sample of 60 women, 50% own cats. <clears throat> we want to state the hypotheses. So I have two hypotheses, the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. <clears throat> the null hypothesis I want to write in terms of men or group one on the left. The proportion of men that owns cats will be on the left. And then the proportion of women that owns cats will be on the right. So you can use women or females, whatever. <clears throat> All right, so we're dealing with men is smaller than women. So less than, which means equality has to go with your null hypothesis here. Less than has to go to your alternative. And this is actually our claim. <clears throat> so the test is because I have a less than sign in the alternative hypothesis. The test is left tail. Now I have to find the test statistic and the p-value. So group one, I need the number of successes, the number of people that own cats. So x1 is <clears throat> out of 20 men, 25% own cats, which is five. Sample size there was 20. And group two, number of women that own cats was 60 times 0.50, which is 30. Sample size was 60. And then my alternative hypothesis sign was less than. These are the five pieces of information you need to put in the Google Sheets. So in Google Sheets, you go to the data list tab. Go to the two proportion CL p value region, <laughs> type in successes and sample size for group one. So five, 20. Type in your successes and sample size for group two. It's 30 out of 60. And then put in your sign for your no hypo for your alternative hypothesis, which is less than. You have the test statistic of 1 point, negative 1.95, and then you had the p-value of 0 0.0255. So you'll record these two values. You get negative 1.95 for the test statistic and 0 0.0255 for the p-value. Now let's compare the p-value to our significance level alpha which happens to be 0 0.05 in this case. So your claim is your alternative hypothesis. You have your p-value, and then you're going to compare it to alpha. Because the p-value is less than alpha, we will reject the null hypothesis. So we are rejecting the null hypothesis, and the claim does not include equality, so that puts us in row one. It gives us a statement. There is sufficient evidence to support the claim. The proportion of men who owns cats is smaller than the proportion of women who owns cats. Thank you for watching.